the key to today's video is a food saver vacuum sealer. Let's see what we can do to help prep the freezer. First, keep an eye on your sell ads. I don't normally buy 93% lean ground beef, but when it's on sale, we definitely get some. We got two value packs, as the limit says. With this sell ad, I was easily able to put nine pounds of hamburger meat vacuum sealed and we'll put it in the freezer. One good thing about vacuum sealing, you can make these nice and flat, right? So when you go to thaw them out, it's not a big hunk of roll of meat and it will thaw a lot faster when it's thinner meat. I bought 10 pounds of pasta on sale about two weeks ago. These nine pounds of meat will go perfectly with that pasta. Keep finding sales as you can find them. Keep stocking up. You never know what deals you might get. And a little bit every week definitely starts adding up. Next, I bought a ham steak. One ham steak, I think it cost me about six bucks. It was Walmart, but I like putting these in my beans and different soups. So cut it up, cubed it up, and I'll put it in the freezer. So when I need a, um, any type of beans, whether it be pinto beans, navy beans, whatever I may be working with, I can easily throw those in and have some meat with my beans. Lastly, in today's freezer preps, I bought some celery, onion, and carrot. I mixed them up, I vacuum sealed it, so I will have fresh cut veggies anytime I need them for any soups. We like this in soups, shepherd pie, anything. Um, I just need to add a little vegetable and bulk it up for us. I like putting these. So I got five of those. That'll last me a little bit because I don't use them all the time, but it'll definitely work. So tell me how you use your vacuum saver sealer to help stock your freezer. In the comments below, love to hear what you guys say. Until next time, bye guys.